I honestly do not know who has had a rougher two years, verifiable two years, in office than Lori Lightfoot. I mean, my God, this bitch just can't do anything proper, okay? She has pissed off every institution that is there. She has been hypocritical at the highest of levels. And now it looks like her police force is turning on her, which is not a, never really a friggin' good sign. And as you can see here, police union approves no confidence vote against mayor and police chief. Yeah, it looks like everybody's going to be going down with this ship. Chicago's largest police union on Wednesday issued a vote of no confidence against uh, Mayor Lori Lightfoot and Chicago Police Department Superintendent David Brown. The vote came during a fraternal order of police, the FOP meeting, where office officers vented their frustrations, new and old. <clears throat> With the mayor and the police department, Chicago FOP President John Catanzara told the Epoch Times emotions were running high, Catanzara said, and one member grabbed the microphone to suggest a vote of no confidence. All members present at the meeting, about 150 active and retired police officers, voted for it. His members' newest frustration with the city leaders, according to Catanzara, is the cancellation of the eight decade old Chicago tradition the St. Jude's Memorial March for the second year in a row. The march is an annual May event honoring fallen Chicago police officers and Gold Star families who have lost loved ones in the line of duty. Yeah, that'd be pretty significant to the FOP and there's no reason for it anymore. Okay. Last year, you could have got away with it, but it's just as obvious that you're just trying to be a tyrant like Joe Biden already canceling fireworks at Mount Rushmore for Independence Day, which is still weeks into the future. So why would you do something so fucking stupid that means so much to so many people? They pay for all this stuff. You just have to sign off on the permits that have been signed off for for the better part of eight decades. Like there, There's no reason for this. And now you're just going to have a bunch of pissed off police officers who are already pissed off at you because you can't do your job properly. Superintendent Brown said he canceled the march due to COVID-19 restrictions in an online video honoring St. Jude's tradition. We must never forget their sacrifices and their families they left behind, so please feel free to be scared and stay at home for a reason now? I don't know. It was a slap in the face to every department member, especially the Gold Star families who have paid the ultimate sacrifice and deserve that respect annually, period. No excuses, Katanzar said in a video update right after the meeting. His members managed to host a smaller scale St. Jude's March on their own. Congratulations. That's, that's great. And this also happened about a week ago. And we got some numbers about how this has kind of affected policing. Oh my God, and it's it's really not not good. It reflects extremely poorly on the police chief and the mayor because just overnight, uh, 19 people were wounded and two were killed Wednesday night alone. Wednesday night alone. This is on the eve, the eve of Memorial Day long weekend, which is going to produce... Um, I don't think I necessarily have to have a crystal ball in front of me to be able to perfectly predict that this is going to be a violent, violent, violent weekend. And more than likely, probably going to be the most violent three-day stretch, if not of the entire year, at least so far. Four people were wounded in two shootings around the same time in Inglewood. Two people were killed and 19 were wounded in shootings in Chicago Wednesday, including a 16-year-old boy gunned down in Roseland on the far south side. The teen was in home in the home in the first block of East 113th Place when was shot in the head about 6.05 p.m. Chicago police said he was pronounced dead at the scene. His name hasn't been released. Well, he's 16 years old. That's fair. Less than four hours later, a 21-year-old man who was shot and killed in the South Shore neighborhood. He was sitting in a car in the 7500 block of South Chapel Avenue when another car pulled up and began firing about 2.20 p.m., police said. He was struck in the head and the neck and pronounced dead at the scene. We can continue to go on and on and on. But as you can see, the pseudo obituaries just read out as a city that's just not in fucking control of literally anything, okay? And the only thing that Lightfoot cares about is what is best for her. I'm sure her neighborhood is probably still patrolled consistently by armed police officers making sure that her and her family are safe because that's all she cares about, okay? That was like just about a year ago when everything was breaking down in Chicago and she's like, well, my neighborhood needs to be safe and uh, I'm still able to go out and get my police, or 
need, I still need to be able to go out and get my hair done, did because you know what? I'm on the television. People can't be looking at me and thinking that I look creepy. I mean, come on, I have an image to keep, okay? So she's very good at taking care of herself. And what was the most recent ridiculous thing that came out of her Tim Burton-esque mouth? Well, it was the fact that she was not going to be letting any whitey crack of motherfuckers ask any questions of her. No, 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 no. That is above my post. And I only want to be hearing from darkies from now on. God damn it. 22% of the media class needs to ask 100% of the questions. Fucking what? That's just stupid. That is just stupid. And yet they have simps across the board and saying that, oh, this is so stunning and brave. We need to shine a light. Well, you should be hiring people. You know what? If you guys are going to be the ones espousing all of this mud diversity shit, you should probably be practicing what you preach. And um, instead of doing that, no, you have a 77% white cast of reporters in the media, at least centralized in Chicago. And it looks like one of those 77% are uh, rising up and filing suit against Mayor Lightfoot because uh, the bitch got sued for allegedly denying white reporter an interview because it was only supposed to be one day, guys. That's all I heard. That's what uh, was fact-checked by one of those very reliable sources. Wasn't it Snopes? Don't you believe every time that you see... Oh, guess what? Claim has been fact-checked. <laughs> ah, checkmate, repub-tards. Chicago mayor, hopefully for not much longer, Lori Lightfoot was hit with a lawsuit for allegedly dodging a white reporter's interview request a week after she said she'd only speak one-on-one -on -one with color journalists of color. Yeah, that's racist. News outlet The Daily Caller and Judicial Watch announced a lawsuit Thursday. Oof, if Judicial Watch is on there, and uh, that's uh, Tom Fitton's outlet, that dude is a bulldog, and he is definitely going to be coming down hard on this bitch. It's absurd that an elected official believes she can discriminate on the basis of race. Daily Caller Editor-in-Chief Ethan Barton said in a statement, Mayor Lightfoot's decision is clearly blocking press freedom through racial discrimination. The federal complaint alleges that Lightfoot violated reporter Thomas Katnacki's First Amendment right and right to equal protection under the 14th Amendment. I didn't want to cite it because I knew it was one of those teenage amendments, but yeah, 14th Amendment, yes, definitely, because we all know what the 13th is. And that's why we're in this current situation. The lawsuit posted to the Judicial Watch website doesn't say the mayor's office outright denied Kat Nassi's based on his race, but, you know, I can hear the grease falling off this guy, so yeah, he's definitely not dark enough for Lori Lightfoot to be talking to. But says three email requests were never answered over the last week. I think there's like a normal policy where you should be hearing from an ant or you should be getting an answer within what 24 to 48 hours so you know the lack of response in a timely manner was the effect of was in fact a denial yeah obviously lightfoot the first black woman and openly gay person to win election for u.s's third largest city confirmed her policy on may 19th and a letter to local media more excerpts from this and more identity politics she's frightening even it doesn't matter what light what lighting there is she's just a terrifying looking woman her letter lightfoot challenged local media to hire more people of color and women of color yeah that ain't gonna happen because it's all a show it's all a facade all of it okay that's why she has to Lori lightfoot she has to open up every single goddamn statement as a person of color as the first openly gay you always need that little blocker okay you always need that little bit of that little line of bullshit for people to cut through in order to get to criticism of your post i don't like playing that kind of game i just like to provide you guys with the truth and what's going on in chicago is despicable people are dropping dead left right and center and if they're not dropping dead they're at least dropping down because bullets are flying through the air Chicago, third largest city in the United States, used to be the crown jewel, one of the most beautiful cities, at least in the summertime, that you can go and visit, and it's now just descended into absolute squalor. Fucking fix your shit before you start proselytizing the rest of the world, okay? Take care of the log in your eye before you criticize the speck of dirt in your neighbors. Okay, cool, we got it? Cool. We're going to talk about fun stuff because we're coming up on Memorial Day long weekend. Like I said, we're going to talk about guns next because guns is fun. I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.